Hi folks, next nice on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I know a lot of you have been asking me, oh Max, how do you put Nova Launcher? How do you say I load APK files onto your Galaxy Gear? Uh, well, I've got my Nova Launcher uh, installed here, as you can see. Uh, let me go show you how to do this. Pretty easy to do. Uh, let's go do this, baby. Uh. Hi folks, so once you have Nova Launcher installed, uh, when you do hit the power key here, um, you'll actually have choice between TouchWiz Home, which is the Galaxy Gear uh, Home. Um, and that will show you the actual uh, watch there. And also, you can actually go to Nova Launcher there. And this will turn your Galaxy Gear into a full-fledged um, Android smartphone or something, smartwatch. Uh, anyway, let me go show you, let me show you how to do this. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, install a bunch of APK files. Uh, run the browser, Dolphin browser, um, you know, and switch back and forth with a uh, Nova Launcher. Um, this would bring some new capabilities um, to your Galaxy Gear. So let's go do this, baby. Ah. So let's go ahead and do this, folks. Um, first, let's go ahead and make sure USB debugging is on. Um, so what you want to do is uh, go ahead and go to settings. All right, and go to gear info and make sure USB debugging is checked on all right and then we're going to go ahead and use the the uh, USB case here and we're going to go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable um, there we go all right and let's go to our computer hi folks next what you want to do is download uh, fastboot.zip I'll have links on my site uh, and go ahead and download it. If you unzip it, you'll probably get a folder called Fastboot uh, with a bunch of files. I've also included ADB Linux and ADB Mac. Um, I'll show you how to do it, it's just the command line is different. Um, I'll have actually the full instructions for Linux and Mac on my site, so check that out and I'll kind of um, show you which one it is. Also, you'll need APK files. You can go ahead and download a um, bunch of different APK files. I've downloaded Nova Launcher, uh, Dolphin Browser, Angry Birds. You can pretty much Google any kind of uh, application. You'll be able to download any kind of APK. So download everything you want to install and uh, put it in your Fastboot folder. And next what we're going to do is uh, make sure um, your driver is installed. So go ahead and go to Control Panel. Uh, you don't need drivers for Linux or Mac. You can skip this step. Uh, go to Hardware and Sound. Go to Device Manager. If you don't know how to get into Device Manager, Go Google it, please. Um, Samsung Android ADB interface. You should have that. If you don't see that, go ahead and download Samsung USB drivers.exe. Uh, it's an um, uh, executable file. Go ahead and double click it, run it, run the program, unplug the USB, plug it back in, and you should now see it. Uh, once you have seen this, we're ready to go. Um, so go ahead and open up a command prompt. Go to um, search programs and files, type CMD. Um, if you don't know how to open up command prompt for other Windows, I'm using Windows 764 bit here. Um, go ahead and Google that also. Um, go ahead and once you've got command line open, we're going to go ahead and just go to downloads fastboot. So we're in max directory, users max. We're just going to go to downloads fastboot. So to do that, we're going to type cd space downloads, enter, and then type cd space fastboot, enter. All right. And here's a kind of important part. We're going to type adb devices. All right. And this will show us if it's connected or not. And this is very important because you're going to have to uh, accept it. So let me go ahead and hit enter. And you will see here, uh, allow USB debugging. Make sure you hit OK here. Let me go ahead and zoom in here so you can see better. All right. And make sure you hit OK. All right. There you go. And once you've done that, um, now it says offline, go ahead and try ADB devices again. It should say device now, which is my, which means it's online now. Um, so now next we're going to go ahead and uh, push any kind of APK, APK file you want. Now if you don't get this for some reason, um, make sure you're using the latest version of ADB. Uh, what you can do is type ADB version. Um, it should say ADB 1.0.3.31. Uh, if it doesn't say that, you're not use, You're probably not using the one I gave you. Um, try the one I gave you, and also for Mac or Linux, um, it is going to be. Uh, you will have to type chmod space seven five five star. Hit enter. This will change the permit uh, permissions of the fastboot directory. And instead of ADB devices, everything uh, with ADB for Linux, you're going to type uh, ADB dot slash ADB Linux, 
and then do everything else device. And also for Mac, same thing, but with adb Mac. Everything else is the same. So you just have to um, change that. But also look on my site. I'll have all the correct uh, full commands you have to type. Um, so next we're going to go ahead and type adb install uh, and then type uh, the first three letters of what you want to install. I'm going to go ahead and install Nova Launcher first. So I'm going to type NOV, NOV, like that, and hit the tab key on your keyboard. And this will fill it out for you instead of um, you having to enter all those things correctly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this will install Nova Launcher. And uh, I have no idea. This is my first time doing it. And right now it doesn't say anything. And probably under apps, it should now have Nova Launcher. There we go. So I've got Nova Launcher there. And boom shakalaka, I got Nova Launcher. Oh, that's, that's neat. That is neat. Let's go ahead and install the rest of it uh, that we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ADB install uh, ANG uh, and then ta hit the tab key. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to install Angry Birds there. All right. And that will install Angry Birds. And it's kind of, it's like a 40 megabytes, so it might take a long time. Uh, but it is really installing. This is awesome. Um, so, I mean, you know, this Galaxy Gear, you're not supposed to use it as a phone or whatever. But, you know, this, this just brings more features to the Galaxy Gear. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and install a browser so I can browse the web. Uh, I might also need to grab a keyboard. I don't think the Galaxy Gear has a keyboard. That might be a problem. Um, but let me go ahead and install this. Uh, it's still installing, I think. There you go. And then I'm going to do adb install space um, dll and then hit the tab key. I'm going to hit the uh, install the Dolphin browser there. And this will install the Dolphin browser. So you can do this for any APK file uh, and go ahead and install um, your favorite APK. And no root required. Um, so great way. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, this and if you have any problems um, you can leave a comment at my site hi on android.com and thanks for watching this video bringing apk files to the galaxy gear is going to be a lot of fun um, there's going to be some apps that are going to be very useful to install on the galaxy gear other than the samsung apps um, so it's going to be great for turning your galaxy gear into full-fledged android device uh, so definitely if you have a galaxy gear try out different apks and don't forget to post the apk download links uh, and also the different uh, apk files you've tried over at highonandroid.com um, so it will help others uh, find the apk files and install on their Galaxy Gear. And thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there, or wherever it is, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Plus, or you will have uh, 10 Galaxy Gears arriving at your mailbox tomorrow. No, I meant, I meant the opposite. Anyway, thanks you guys. Uh, stay yeah. on Android.